Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, She Says Happiness. It's been a few days since I have stepped foot in the incredibly messy sacred space. Um, but I just thought I would check in with you, share with you what I've been up to, or at least snippets of what I've been up to. I've been sewing for challenges this month, so a few of those things can't be shown properly until the release dates for those challenges and those will be posted over on Instagram. This is my first coffee of the day. It always tastes so much better. Anyhow, I've made a few things. I have made two dresses, I've made a skirt, I'm currently working on tiny projects. So there has been some things happening and to give you kind of like just a brief rundown, um, there are two challenges that I have in mind this month. One is the So Frugal Challenge and you may have caught my inspo um, video for that. Although I've kind of backbenched some of my ideas because um, I got excited with my free pattern research and I thought I'm going to look into lingerie because that's something I do not make for myself. I have an entirely handmade wardrobe apart from my own lingerie, um, but lingerie cannot be entered into the challenge, so that hasn't been my priority, but I do have a couple of those patterns ready to go as soon as I get a free moment. Um, so yeah, I haven't actually made much for that yet. I've made one skirt, which just needs buttons. So, you know, in a week's time, you'll be seeing all of these things. And for the So Yellow for Endo, I revisited the Cashmere at Kinnerton dress. Um, and I used a lovely Liberty fabric. I really like this one. Um, I also made an Emma. I think it's an Emma dress. So over at Pattern. Gosh, it's sitting over there too because I haven't even got away any of the things that I've worked on recently. There are four patterns that all need filed away, folded and tidily organized. But... I think because my sewing time is so limited, recently, instead of clearing my space, which is what I used to do as per standard practice, I always cleared the space following um, completing a project um, and then started afresh with a lovely clean room. I've literally just worked on the last kind of like four things. So I've got my Kenneton, I've got my Sanfe, I've got my Emma, I've got the next one that's going to be cut out, which is for the So Frugal Challenge. It's the Friday Pattern um, Company Bateau Top. Um, I've got tiny little pajamas. You know I like to make those kinds of things for Henry. So that is what I am working on at the moment. And again, this is kind of a crossover for the challenges. So you can see there is like a statement pop of yellow here. So I am making that gorgeous pattern that I have um, probably mentioned three or four times now. It's the um, movie night pajamas by So A Little Seam. Absolutely lovely and they're so comfortable uh, and they're wonderful for Henry. They just fit really, really nicely, even though I've had to go up a couple of sizes, um, but they just fit really nicely. So that's what that's what I've been up to. Um, I've got a toe top, hopefully. I will get stitched up today. It's just been one of those mornings. So Henry's gone into nursery today for the first day in a while. Um, so because it was St. Patrick's Day bank holiday here in uh, Ireland, I decided to take like a proper four at day weekend. Um, so I haven't been sewing. We've literally just been out jam packed, doing activities, enjoying ourselves for the last four days. Um, yeah, that, that's just, I think that was really needed. So I still have today off work and I will selfishly squirrel away a couple of hours for myself. But yeah, I took Henry into nursery this morning to be told there is another outbreak of hand, foot and mouth in the nursery. I'm just like, can you please keep my son away from the other children? Um, so yeah, I've got this now in the back of my head. Um, and I was really tempted to just kind of bring him home again and they're like, I nobody was playing with this this one last this boy last week. Oh my God. So if he's gonna get it, the damage has already been done. Um yeah, and then I went and did my grocery shopping, which I find to be one of the most grueling, horrible, nasty chores. I really don't enjoy it. I hate going through supermarkets, but it needs to be done. And for convenience sake, I did just go to the one place um rather than 
this week popping into delis and grocers and things like that. I just, I have a bit of a cold too, so I'm not feeling it. I'm just not feeling high powered. And what little energy I've got, I wanna spend the next two, three hours just um, sewing up these little pajamas and that top as well. And then go and pick up Henry and have another fun filled afternoon. So I'm not gonna be sharing too many garments as you can, can tell, but I thought I'd share with you a few pieces of fabrics that have come recently. And I have been, actually I have been on my best behavior. I have to say I have completely slowed down in the purchasing. I am trying to make dents in the fabric stashes that I have. And I have been, actually I've been going through and finding things and pairing them up with patterns and enjoying using those. But I did buy a couple of things. So if you wanna see those, hang on in there. So the first thing I bought, and please don't laugh at me because actually when I saw this, I thought this would make a really beautiful uh, bath towel, right? Now, actually I think that's what it was intended for, but this um, is a boucle fabric that I got from Rainbow Fabrics Kilburn. It's large scale, the color isn't coming up great. It's like a burgundy off pink uh, against the orange and I just really love the colors. But when I see it, I really do think bath towel and I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure I could use it for that. It's got that kind of texture. Um, I don't know what I bought it for. I just really like Houndstooth and I really like the colors. So yeah, I think I have three meters of this. And I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it. But it was silly of me. So that, this is an example of why I shouldn't be buying fabric because I'll buy fabric that firstly I don't need because actually I don't need any fabric. Secondly, I'm buying fabric where I don't have a bloody clue what I'm gonna do with it. And that's the stuff I need to rule out. And that's the lesson that I have learned. Um, but yeah, I have it now. I will put it away um, and we'll see what becomes of that. It also takes up a lot of space, which is annoying. I don't know why there's masking tape on here. I hate masking tape. Um, so yeah, it takes a lot of space up as well. So I probably should not have bought that fabric. But nevertheless, what can I do now? So second fabric I got is with a very specific purpose. I know exactly what I'm doing with it. I absolutely loved it. I had to have it. It's from Sister Mintaka. Isn't this an absolute delight? I love oceanic prints. I just think they're absolutely beautiful. And I quite like this minty green as well, even though it's not a color I gravitate toward. And I bought this with a plan in mind. This is to make a Friday Pattern Company patina blouse. I've made the patina blouse a couple of times before. I really like it. And I just thought when I saw that, that's what I would like that to be. So that was a very conscious buy. Those are the kinds I really need to be focusing on. And then I got a few bits and pieces here from Fleur et Ours. So this was actually instigated by winning a gift voucher for the shop. So quarterly, um, Kaylee will have a giveaway and she chooses a winner from people who have tagged their makes in her store. Um, and I use quite a lot of Kaylee's fabrics. So obviously I, I tagged myself in this season and I managed to win um, a 20 pounds voucher, which I thought I'm going to buy a couple of pieces of nice fabric. And I did, but I was selfless for the most part. And I got this beautiful um, Winsiette fabric, which I thought would make a cozy pair of pajamas for Henry. Um, for winter, for autumn, winter. I just love the color palette. I think it's beautiful. And to make him a little shirt, I bought this lovely little fabric. So it's these fantastic little astronauts and rockets and planets and stars. I just thought that was really, really sweet. So I got that for him. And for myself, I only bought a couple of small pieces of fabrics to make project bags because I'm loving having everything organized in my project bags. So this is just a fat quarter that I have here. And I really quite like this fabric, the walk in the park um, type fabric. So yeah, that's just to make a, a little small make. I don't even remember what you called it, to be honest. I just loved um, the illustrations. 
And then this I've been eyeing up for a while. I think this is a Dashwood um, fabric. Be happy. I think this is the range. So again, for making small crafty projects. Isn't that a lovely little fabric? Thought it was really cute. Would make lovely things for my nieces as well. So I got a little bit of that. And that is the extent of what I've been buying um, fabric wise. Still don't know why I have that large scale hands tooth and I really have no idea what to do with it. But if you can think of anything better than toweling, please do let me know in the comments below. So yes, yeah, so I'm going to go, I'm going to finish off um, stitching out these little pajamas. I have another pair cut out here, ready to go. And then hopefully get around to making that little top for myself before picking up the little one. So yeah, I just thought I'd, I'd pop in because I intended to over the weekend. And then of course, yeah, I got I got mummy brained and mummy focused, so I disappeared for a little while. Um, but hopefully I'll be back soon, being able to share with you all of the lovely makes that I have made um, with the challenges in mind. Um, but also I will have a vlog going out in a few days about the so end or about the so yellow for endo challenge. So do keep an eye out for that. And if you don't want to miss it, you know what to do. You hit the notification bell, and you will get. A reminder of when that has gone live so thank you again uh, for stopping by for being here I, I do genuinely appreciate all of you and it's lovely to um to hear from you down below so do let me know what you're making or you know what you think i should do with this large scale houndstooth boucle fabric uh, take care of yourselves and i will chat to you all again soon